Hi there, once again welcome to Agile Tech. I'm delighted to have you back on my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you five Excel tips that will help boost your productivity. So let's look at these tips. So the first one we're going to talk about is how to check the location or the path of your file. Let's say I've saved this file. The name of the file is called tips. Okay, but let's say I don't know the location where I saved this file and I want to just track that location within Excel. Okay, we can easily do that. So the first tip I'm going to talk about how to track the file location of your Excel file or document so if you want to check the file location just type equal to then type cell when you type cell this way within the bracket put into quote so you're going to put into quote file name and then close the quotes and then close the bracket and then hit enter and it's going to take you tell you the location it's actually going to tell you the location of that file so it's basically it's telling me that my file has been saved on my document, uh, the download folder. So it's basically telling me that I've saved this file at the download folder. So I can easily go to the download folder and then I can see that file over there. So the name of my file is tips. That's X L S X. That is it. And I'm in my first worksheet, and you can see worksheet one over there. So that is basically. So you can check the formula again. It's called to sell then the into quotes file name and then it's going to tell you when hit the enter key. It's going to tell you the location of that particular your Excel file okay so this will help you a lot to track your location of your excel file when you get maybe you don't know where you, you save that file you can easily use this method to actually locate the location of that particular file okay so the next tip i'm going to talk about is how to use the substitute function okay it is basically a function called substitute so let's say we have the mid formula lower formula left formula in that order and i want to change this instead of formula i want to make it mid function lower function left function and then the rest i can easily use the substitute to do that so let's look at how we can do that so within this cell i'm going to display my result within this cell so i'm going to say equal to then i'll bring the substitute so this is going to take a text so which text are we going to work with so this is a text we want to work with the the column a so i'll select that and bring comma so when i bring comma the old text i want to change is formula so i'm going to put that into quotes and i'm going to say formula okay that is going to be quotes and i'll bring comma again and then i'm going to bring my new formula or my new text now okay so i'm going to change it to my new text so my new text is going to go function okay so that will be in quotes and then i'll just close this so when i hit now when i hit the enter you can see now i'm not getting my mid formula but rather mid function so you just have to drag this down and then it's going to replace the rest so i'm not going to get lower formula again i'm now going to get lower function left function right function text function trim function proper function now and that order not no more formula no more proper formula, trim formula so this is a, a very nice and a very simple trick that can help you boost that will help you boost your productivity using excel so there's basically going to be a lot of so there's basically going to be a lot of tips and tricks i'm going to share on my channel so in order not to miss any of this you just have to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get alert anytime i upload a new content so that is our second formula okay or our second tip the next tip i'm going to talk about is how to get a path of a cell so let me just use this to do that i have a new worksheet okay so this is a new worksheet and let's say i have january up to december and i want to get just part of it i want to get the first three characters from january so i want to display j n then feb that's a short form for january and then a short form for february and that order up to december so i can use a formula called left so i will just go equal to now bring left in this way and the text i'm going to deal with is this so i'm dealing with this column okay that is the a column and i'll bring comma and that is going to be the number of characters i want to get from this so how many characters do i want so i want three characters okay so that's generally is going to be G, uh, J A N. So I want three characters. I'll just close this and hit enter. So you can see instead of January, it's giving just J A N. And I just have to drag this for the rest. And you can see that I'm getting just the first three characters from this particular character. So instead of writing a full name for the month, I just want to shorten it. And this is just a simple way of doing it. So I'm able to use a formula to track that. So that is the so that is basically the third tips i want to talk about the next one i'm going to talk about is how to get 
the last figure in a particular column so this is a column having a column here that we have the last number to be 99 let's assume this column is very long and you want to get this last number how do you go about it so let me just come down here let me just enlarge this and let's see how we can go about this okay so let's see this is a very long list and i just want to get the last number within this particular row i can use a formula to do that i can just type equal to them or just use the lookup so this is going to be lookup and what i'm going to do is i'm going to type a very long number like a scientific notation. i'm going to type a very long number a scientific notation i'll say so let me just do it this way one zero then i'll just type hundred and the next thing i'm going to do is that is i'm going to bring comma and then i'll just select that particular i'm going to select that particular column that is all i need just just close this formula and hit enter you can see this giving me 99 so that's the last number within that particular that particular row okay so if i go ahead and even update this and bring in a new number and i hit enter automatically it's going to give me that as well so this is a very simple way in which you can get the last number from your row within excel so these are tips and tricks that will basically improve on your day-to-day -day productivity how you to use excel and then how to use it to do your day-to-day -day activities remember to subscribe share this video with friends and also remember to like if you enjoyed this tutorial the last one i'm going to talk about is how to evaluate a formula so i'm going to state two figures over here. let's say i have 45 i have 55 and then let's say i have a b basically this is a letter this is a letter these are numbers okay or i'll say figures these are numbers and i can multiply this with this so basically if i want to try this i'm going to get i'm not going to get any results okay so let's see how this is going to be so let's say sum and then let's say i want to add this sum this times that is the a b i shouldn't be expecting any result so you can see what is giving me so basically this i want my formula to give me a result which i'm not getting so basically you can get this you're going to get this and how to do evaluate so you can try to evaluate and see where exactly the error is coming from assume it's a complex formula you can use this strategy to check that so when you select this you just have to go to formulas at the tab here and you come down here where we have the formula auditing we have what you call evaluate what formula and then if you come down here it's giving you some tips and say debug a complex formula evaluate each part of the formula individually stepping through the formula part by part and help you verify it calculating correctly so when i click on that you can see it's giving my formula and everything over here and i can click on evaluate when i click on evaluate it's giving me that the first two figures for some meter is, give, is going to give me 100. then when you click on that it's, it's now telling us that 100 times what g7 and we check over here the g7 is the db that we want to multiply with which is at the seven that's the, if you check the the rule by seven by g so that's g7 so when you click on that you click on evaluate again it's not telling you that the 100 you are trying to multiply by bd and the bd is into quotes so that in if you do program you realize that you say that is a string and then you are trying to multiply a number by uh, let's see latest which is not possible so you can easily click on that and evaluate and see and you see the result is getting is giving you so you can use this to evaluate your complex formula and then you'll be able to detect what exactly the problem is so this is basically a very short uh, process i want to teach you uh, tips and tricks that can easily help you improve your day-to-day -day, uh, life once you are using excel this can guide you and then improve on your daily activities with excel thank you so much for watching this short tutorial Share this video with friends and also like and then support my channel by subscribing. Bye-bye.